if you want in London. Socks off. Socks off. If you want in London. Socks off. Fuck off, Gareth Southgate. Fuck off, Gareth Southgate. Na 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 Leeds. Na 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 Leeds. We'll keep the white flag flying high. Ah, fucking hell. A win, you can't be a win, can you? Can you fuck on a Friday night as well? That feeling with the international break as well. Could you imagine if we'd have lost oh, that? Tell you two what, weeks of shit. Tell you how, I tell you how good yeah. a win is. My wife just come and shut the door in my office on me. I'm getting divorced. I'm you and Metcalf. I'm getting divorced. He's getting sacked in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost worth it for three points, love. She don't understand. <laughs> the following podcast contains some strong language and some very average opinions. Any references to actual people are wildly inaccurate. It's probably best if you don't listen at all. The Roaring Peacock Podcast. Welcome back to the Roaring Peacock Podcast. This is the match review of Fulham. You're going fucking down. One. Leeds United, you're staying fucking up to. What a victory. We won in London 1,195. What is it? 39 months? Fuck off. Ooh. Fuck off, London. 28,000 28, hours of misery. Come on, Leeds. Dirty son of Oh, bastards. God. Right then, let's get into this then. My name's Adonis and you know me as at the Adelites on Twitter. It's a very good hello from me and joining us uh, to dissect this fucking lovely victory is uh, Sam Ward, LUFC. Sam? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's getting his dance oh, on. He's ready to fuck. <laughs> Ready to fuck. Yeah. And uh, Machiavelli at you and Metcalf. You in. Buongiorno. Come va? Tutta posta. <laughs> now, if you've ever heard us do a match review after a loss, this is going to be quite different. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell. Don't come much better than this, is it? First thoughts then, lads. Come on, Sam. Go on, then. I'll go first. Go on, you, you, Nick, you, you, Nick, all my good ideas. Yeah, I'll let you get in there first. <laughs> Do you know what? Tense. I watched it with my kids. I was tense all the way through. I thought we started brilliant. Th- first 35 minutes that we conceded goal, we're mm. winning this 3 or 4 nil. Yeah. And we fucking leased it up, didn't we? So, yeah. you know, we let them back into the game, we know. And they, to be fair, they played really well after that. And, uh, mm. Fighting for the lives down there. If they thought if they could have got some up today, they'd have stayed in it. And I thought that it showed in the way they played. But you know what? You can't beat winning on a Friday night to set the weekend up perfect. Three points. I predicted three. One with a Bamford goal, a Rafina goal. So I was close as you like. It's, ev- yeah. it's evident on the YouTube comments. So I'm not <laughs> blagging it. Um, yeah, it's still not right. <laughs> You know what I mean? So I'm really proud, but I was really tense all game. I felt like I was having a heart attack, and I'm so pleased right now. Come on, Leeds! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking get in there, get you. In. And... <laughs> Sam? Oh, first off, just fuck off, London. You know what I mean? Just fuck yeah. off. Um, but yeah, game went how I thought, to be honest. It was going to be tight. It was going to be tense, because like you say, they're, they're down the bottom there, and um, not actually playing too bad at the moment. I think Sky were creaming over them for no reason, to be honest, but they've they're not been playing too bad. Um, for me personally, that means we're 100 percent safe. I think I think we needed that one more win for me personally. Anyway, I know a lot of people have been saying we're safe for a while, but for me, that one last win um, and to do it in London and to just it's just the whole thing absolutely brilliant. Got a bit sloppy at times, but I couldn't give less of a fuck because we won in London and we're safe and we're in the Premier League next season. So fucking get in. Thirty nine points. We're totally safe. We're totally yeah. safe now. I think Premier so. League. Yeah, I think so. Not without a doubt. Mm-hmm. Fulham were the only ones who could have, could have caught us. It feels massive. Yeah, it is. It feels massive. And especially like do, doing a double over a team again. I love doing that. Um, yeah. Doing it before an international break, like we said before, brilliant. Just ticking all the boxes tonight and all the sloppiness can, yeah, I'm not bothered. I'm just purely buzzing tonight. Yeah. December 2017. That's That was the last time we, we had a, a happy away day Fucking down in the hell. capital. 
can you imagine that that can you imagine the scenes after this game if there'd have been cr- crowding if there'd have been a crowding yeah amazing I mean, one messy what weekend me. in london Jeez. what a night in london it would have been amazing <laughs> yeah because they give us a good away allocation down there as well don't they yeah because they've got you'd no have been fucking lost home fans. for days <laughs> yeah you'd have been you'd have been fucking stumbling around on tuesday around king's cross yeah. trying to buy a fucking ticket Get forgot where uh, you lived. Where do I live yeah. again? <laughs> yeah, and you know what? I've been to that. I've been in that Newtsland at Fulham to watch Leeds, right? A few years ago, and it's full of Leeds. So it had just been like, eight, especially tonight, there'd probably been about what eight thousand Leeds down there, it's six like thousand the Leeds, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It'd have been crazy. But you know what? I called it, didn't I, uh, Donny? I said you don't do the double over people often, but this is a chance to do it and get three points. And you know what? They executed it, and they're fighting for their lives, and I thought they, they played really well at points, and mm. Phillips, man. <sighs> don't talk to me about him anymore. Set the first goal up. Set the second goal up. Dominated. You know, he just he, he annoyed everybody. I thought Lorente was superb. Mm. Um, Melier, Melier yeah, superb. Yeah. No, I thought I was really pleased with Paddy today. I thought he was unlucky not to get the call up. Again, I can't really say anything I haven't said before about Southgate. It's just too many fucking right backs and he doesn't know what he's doing. Um, he got us to the semi-final by losing to Belgium. And then we just had some sort of fairly mediocre teams and we scraped through against Colombia. And don't get me wrong, that summer was incredible. Uh, I fucking loved it. It was classic. Um, but... Yeah, I think he's been found out a little bit, Southgate. And if you're telling me that Watkins has got in ahead of Bamford, you're fucking kidding me. Mm. He He's just come on the in, with his interview after this game and said, I wasn't fully fit, hobbling around. He's fucking scored a goal and, cre- and created Assisted another one. Beautifully as well. Unbelievable. His first, How he his does first not touch, get into the squad. His first touch for that second goal. No, yeah. hardly anybody plays that first the touch. On like, that touch. Mm. On and that the weight on the pass, yeah. no understanding yeah. his players around him, Rafina. There's yeah. not many strikers who who, who are like that. And I, I'm not his. I was never his biggest fan, but no. the first touch to take it around that defender that was diving in, and the, the weight of that pass to know that Rafina is going to either drag that player in for a penalty, or either going to drag him in for a foul, or, or he's going to mm. dink it and and. Sc- I mean, wow. What a, what a striker! What what an underrated Watkins. Honestly, no one, no near, no one near. I've had him in my FPL team. He hasn't done anything no. for me. Anyway, uh, back to the game then. <laughs> Dallas and Phillips bossed that midfield yeah. completely. In that, that, the first half was a weird one because after about forty minutes or thirty-five minutes, something like that, you thought we are dominating here. We're, we're fucking cruising. Um, we'd only had two shots. I know. <laughs> and the thing is, we felt so safe because they couldn't get anywhere fucking near our goal. They were struggling. Nowhere near. And that is down to Dallas and, and Phillips. Uh, Strauch, I thought, was brilliant as well. Sam? Yeah, well, for me, like, like you say, Angrisa was one to watch for them, for me. And I think Phillips dealt with him all night long. And I thought that was brilliant. Um, just, all just night long. <laughs> all night. <laughs> all night. All, all night, night, night long, long, all night, all night. <laughs> Come on to feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate, I couldn't help it. He was dancing like fucking Lionel Richie when Phillips kicked him up I'm in the air after no, about 35 no. minutes. Fucking brilliant. Fucking telling you. It would be 3 or 4 a.m. or something, and you'd be wondering how you got to Soho, and you'd be trying to fucking get a bucket book of bed in a hostel <laughs> you'd know where you're getting back now oh what a feeling Phillips kicked me I was dancing on the ceiling <laughs> <laughs> just one more thing on Dallas as well I think the fact he's yeah. keeping out Cliff one of our best midfielders keeping him out the team at the moment as a winger and as a left back and as a centre mid he's just unbelievable I and mean, he's one player that I never thought would reach this you know how good he is I really didn't and every game just keeps getting better and better I absolutely love that man I think he's brilliant and him like I say him and Phillips really really did win us that tonight controlled it when we needed to um, and yeah just what can you say he's, I love him <laughs> I fucking love yeah. that 
Can I just say at this point, if you're watching on the YouTube video, can you give us a, th a thumbs up, please? We've won in London. Come yeah. on, baby. It's worth a thumbs put up. Put some any comments day of the week. on as well. There's not enough comments yeah. on. Put some comments on. Yeah. Getting some uh, songs, maybe. What can we? What can we chant next time we win? Yeah. Well, I Fucking hell. Okay. Um, let's get into a little bit of the nitty gritty then. Um, that first goal, I was yelling, yelling at Roberts, and I know that everybody's calling it harsh and stuff, but I'd be harsh on myself because if I'm facing the line, the defenders, I have to be onside, and sometimes you're not. Sometimes you're not, and that's fair enough. But if you're stationary and your eyes are facing towards the line, I think you should you should probably be onside nine times out of ten. Anyway, whatever, it doesn't matter because it was a great touch. He turned inside, beautiful cross, and what a fucking header from Ailing. And you have to say that these goals should just be allowed, shouldn't they? <laughs> On pure it's aesthetics alone. Yeah, especially when, you know... Ailey's got his hair like out. Cool. Yeah, you know, that deserves a goal. Fucking hell, it's us, it's Leeds. I, I it's give us the fucking goal. I think whether it would have made a difference or not, like they do in Holland, they should have a thicker line. Yeah. So the line, you should have to be, you know, that line should be thicker between the defender and the attacker. And yeah. unless it's significantly offside, it's a goal. Now, I don't actually think it would have made a difference to that. But it depends on what part of the body your class has been offside. Yeah. And if you can't play the ball with that part of your body, I would say that's obsolete. So from your shoulder into your body or from, you know, your, your legs or your feet, whatever, yeah. if your hand's offside, you can't score with that. No, so bollocks, irrelevant. It? And that's what, that's what happened tonight. And it's what happened with Bamford against yeah. Palace. And it's what happened with, you know, so many times. And it's just a yeah. joke. It's a joke, man. I knew that we would have problems with VAR. I knew it. Of course we did. Um, of course we were always going to, but I didn't realise that it would go on and on and on and on and fucking on. I'm sick of it. Well, refs, anyway. refs and linesmen have hated us for 45 years, right, plus. Yeah. So the more there, there is of them people, the more right. we're going to get shit decisions. That's as simple as it's going to be. Yeah. 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 Whole room full of them at Stockley Park. Fucking hell, anyway, yeah. didn't, all hate leads. Didn't, didn't need any of them, though, because Coot... Was a cunt again. <laughs> I fucking hate this referee. Do you think he looks like oh. a caricature drawing? That's why I, I look at him. I think he looks like a caricature yeah, drawing. He looks very odd, man, doesn't he? Very strange. He looks, yeah. he looks like when you go to Paris and you go to Montmartre, right? And you yeah. have your, your caricature painted in the square at Montmartre. Yeah. And you're, you're a goofy, ugly twat. <laughs> Yeah. That's what you come. <laughs> that's what you come out looking like. That's <laughs> awful, isn't it? With a massive ass and fucking no brain. <laughs> uh, so. What really pissed me off, right? I didn't. It didn't annoy me massively tonight. But what pissed me off was um, the guy you mentioned, the the the, rast, the, the dreadlock guy for them. Mm. Philip, yeah, he missed the ball, and Phillips like half touched him on his ankle, and he fell. Yeah. And that's how they got the free kick to get the corner mm. to score the first goal. And it's like, it's just little little details sometimes we lead. It's not the massive decisions. It's the little details. That's never a free kick. He's not getting near the ball. Phillips half touched him. He gets a free kick. They get a corner from that uh, uh, resulting free kick. Just little shitty, yeah. Yeah, bad decisions. It was Alioski, wasn't it, that, that put the ball out when he could have probably just twatted it clear. Oh, tried let, to turn I'll, it put it, I'll put it out. Yeah. We're Let's not, not get into that. We're yet. not very good we'll, at we're not very good at corners. We're not very good at corners. I'm going to put it out safe for a corner. <laughs> yeah, come on, Talioski, in a second. Right, yeah, um, but um, just sticking with the ref, there was this one time where one of their players dived in the box, and this oh. is a pet peeve of mine. They never give free kicks for diving anymore. No. That is a free kick and a yellow card. Yellow, yeah. And I think the reason why they don't do it. It's because they just don't make a decision and they let VAR do it. And then when, when it goes to VAR, VAR will check it and they'll never, ever say, okay, it was a dive. It needs to be a free yeah. kick. It's either a penalty or you carry on with the game. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. If he dives, free kick, yellow, yellow card. Yellow's the thing for me. Like, you dive, it's a yellow. No matter where on the pitch it is, it's just a yellow. And I don't know why they've stopped doing that. It fucks me off. I'll tell you why, because there'd be about three players left on pitch. <laughs> yeah, <it's true. laughs> so much diving. It's like, you know, you you know, you, when you play at level I've played at Sunday League in Leeds and, you know, you've got to be hard and you've got to be tough and 
you play mm. in West Yorkshire Premier League where I played and you play in combination league in Leeds. You're embarrassed if you do stuff like that. You've got to be tough. You've got to you stay on your feet for as much. You know, you've had. I've been kicked upside down. Had my cruciate ligament done. Had my teeth knocked out. I still haven't gone down. I've stayed up like I'm not showing any weakness whatsoever yeah. in any contact. If they only had that same mentality that you're going to probably bump mm. into them in a pub at some point in future, <laughs> you've got to look hard. They wouldn't do it. It's embarrassing. It's so bad. But that was the one thing that they had in place to stop diving. And now they've taken it away. And so it's just a fucking free for all. And everybody dives at every chance they can get yeah. because they know that there's no consequences if it doesn't work and maximum uh, positives if it does. Well, the example Fucking is hell. the example is you've got Salah that dives every time he's in box and gets touched, which fair enough to lad. And then you get Foden for Man City, who tries to stay on his feet the other day mm. and doesn't yeah. get a penalty. Well, what yeah. are you what are you what's it telling kids to do? Yeah, well, stay Grealish on... is the one, isn't he? Grealish and Neymar and all that, and y- you know, a lot of kids want to be Grealish or, or Neymar. But anyway. Let's get on to Alioski then. Go on then. Go on. So, what a brilliant player. It, if, if you're a defender, right, and this was a problem not just with Alioski today, but just fucking boot it. Get rid of it. This is why I was screaming for Berardi. Get Berardi on because he takes control. Yeah, he gets sent off sometimes. I understand that. But he cleans up. He doesn't get sent off every single minute of every single game that he plays, does he? But he cleans up. He gets that ball, and and, and if it's in a dangerous area, there's absolutely fucking no doubt about it. He is flying through the air, fucking Matrix style, two feet up, studs up, karate kick, fucking smashes it. The ball is out of the stadium, and people are screaming and running for their lives. Right, Ed. Well, there was that one. Do you remember where Alioski? I think there was a throw in on the right hand side or Alioski's left, and he just twatted it back to Melier. And then Lorente had that little dodgy moment, yeah. didn't he? But why is he, he doing volleyed, that? He volleyed it yeah, back to Melier, thirty-five <laughs> yards up in the air. What are you doing? Yeah. There? Bring like, that down! Sh- bring that down, Mel lad. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, Ice Man. Think you're an Ice Man, do you? Go on. Go on, control that son. <laughs> it's only a, it's only it's only a testimonial. Fuck it. <laughs> Wow. It's only Fulham. Yeah, it's only Fulham. We only need to get three points. Go on, bring that down out the air, sunshine. <laughs> that wasn't even the worst one, though. That's the no, thing. I know. Um, he, he, was, he was on the left. He played it. He played a cross-field ball into the middle of the pitch, yeah. and it landed straight with one of their strikers, Madger or whatever it was, yeah. bearing down on goal. It was a two-on-two. He played him right in. And then uh, minutes later, he's a uh, fucking... He's, he's used all of his energy, which he always does, won the ball back, and then just passed it out for a corner. They get a corner, it, it, we, we knock it back, goes to a corner on the other side, and they score from mm. it. And apparently I've spilt fucking ink all over my... <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for writing about Alioski. Alioski makes you inject ink into your own veins. Yeah. That's, right. how bad like that's yeah. what he's been doing. Do you know what, do you know what it is but, with Alioski, right? I think going forward, he is a, he is a contender. This is the worst thing about him, right? Going forward, he's decent. He plays good passes. He's sharp. He's quick. You know, it, it, a couple of times tonight, he did really well going forward. Yeah. He can't defend. And I'm not being, I don't care what Bielsa's mentality is. It's definitely be able to play football going forward and be able to pick passes in one touch and, you know, do your work. But it's definitely not, not have any ability to defend whatsoever. And he's definitely got it. Yeah. You know what we've missed? We've missed that calmness that Ben White brought. Yeah, definitely. 100%. Yeah. 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 Al- Alioski is a lot of things, but calmness <laughs> he does not bring. He's, not. He, he's probably not calm in his sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not going to be calm on the field when it's tense, is he? You know, that, that's how it is. He's not calm in his own sleep. He's probably making duck noises and, you know, I don't know, giving himself Chinese burns, pulling his own air in his sleep. So he's not he's not going to be calm in the middle of a tense period of a football match. You know, I thought we were a bit unlucky tonight because I do think that two or three little inches, you know, inches and, and millimetres aside, we would have been yeah. three or four up 
uh, yeah. quite easily. Definitely. That one from Dallas. Definitely. definitely. He, he, I thought he was going to bury that oh, into the bottom corner. All day long yeah. you can finish that either corner. Yeah. It's not unlike him, actually. Yeah, he, gets is, that, yeah. he gets that chance normally, he finishes it. So Beautiful play as yeah, well, that oh, was. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. We, when we turn it on, we look so good. Yeah. And, you know, for, for them to be, as we've said a number of times, fighting for their lives, and we match them every bit mm-hmm. with effort, intensity, exactly. will, will to win. Um, and I thought a load of players had, had great games. I thought Rafinha was brilliant again. Um, yeah, every was... time he goes down clutching his ankle, <laughs> I die inside oh, that gives it. me a fucking... <laughs> that's a wind-up, he... that. He did, he, he did that one with Loftus Cheek, where he, just, he basically played for that. He put, yeah. his, he put his body between him and the ball and thought, you're going to foul me. We'll get a free kick. It takes pressure off, slows it down, takes 30 seconds off the game. And the pass he played for Dallas for that chance, mm. it's fucking poetry, that. Yeah. You know, he just he waits and waits and waits yeah. and just lays it into him. It's perfect. You know, you'd love to play with a player like him because you'd get that perfect weighted pass every single time. And you know what? He's brave as well. We've, he is a little bit of a... He, he likes to play on it a bit, but... He does put his body on the line a lot yeah, of the time. He does, and, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And, them, and them corners and free kicks he was doing, oh. them, them in swingers, Jesus Christ, they've got his lethal whip on them, haven't they? His lethal. Yes. Unbelievable delivery. And it's just so nice to have someone that can deliver that well now. And free kicks, corners, anything you want, he's he's on them and he's Do you know do you know what it does, which is which, which is amazing. It's like a different level of football. He doesn't just pick a player or an area, he picks the most Horrible angle, the most horrible speed, and the most horrible place to put a football in that six yard box where the keeper can't come, defender doesn't know what to do. Any touch on it's probably going to end up in back at net. It's, it's, it's a real skill, that yeah, you know, it and it, it, good on him because we haven't had a player like that for a while. <sighs> no, we haven't. Okay, we've got some post match thoughts then Go from then. Twitter. So if you don't know this, uh, on Twitter at Peacock's Raw, I put out a uh, little photo it says post-match thoughts so if you uh come on there come on twitter and find that post um after a game you can always write in your opinion and we'll read it out on the pod going from here from am84 um okay sloppy better teams would have beaten us but fulham aren't a better team so we won onwards and upwards um i I don't disagree yeah i mean (sighs) I don't, I don't think better teams are full. I think we controlled a lot of that today. I think maybe they would have punished mm. us a bit more when we when we turned a bit sloppy. But I, yeah, I think yeah, I think we were, we were all right today actually. I'd say we were sloppy. I think AM eighty four is a fair mm. point. We were sloppy at the back at times, mm. and I think oh, yeah. better teams would have could have punished yeah. could have punished us from those types of situations. And that's a fair enough comment. But I thought we looked very good going yeah. forward as well. Ewan. Next one. I'm going to read my mate Andy Pye at Bally Eric Social. Um, Been involved before in the book reading day at the West uh, Wish You Were Here stuff. So Andy's put, at times, if we slowed the game down, then you get more of a chance to accelerate in the final third. Being more direct too instead of that little drag back aim for the penalty area. He either brings you down or getting a shot on target. Okay, uh, here's this one from Alien Bum Note at Alien Bum Note. Just says, "Great to see some cock." Yes, it was nice Always. to see him actually. Always. Always good for an alien bum note. Cock, cock uh, with a bit of Sam, um, I got one from uh, JPL Loco. Uh, good to get the London bollocks out of the way. Played well in parts and deserved the win. Got to stop giving every team a free goal, though. Yeah. It, is, it does get annoying, but yeah, at the end of the day, like I said at the start, the London win is the main thing for me. That's it. Ewan? Uh, Vicky Grimble at Grimbers always gets it bang on. Um, much needed win in London. The jinx is over and increasingly likely we'll be playing the Premier League football next season, which is, of course, all that matters. Yeah. Hashtag MOT. There you go. Okay. Um, so. One from Rob at Juicy Rob. He's uh, another one of the co-hosts. <clears throat> on the youth pod, a win in London. Some of those lads need a rest, and now we have Cock, Lorente, Rodrigo, etc., all to come back from injury, along with Perveda and Shackleton, should make April's tough fixtures manageable. Yeah, well, Rob so, looking yeah. ahead. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point, actually. Okay. Yeah, Ryan Wignall, another friend of the show, started really well, could have been a couple up, 
And then we give away a sloppy goal and struggled for 10 minutes. Then again in the second half, got exactly what we deserved. Great result. And the London hoodoo is over. At Ryan Wignall, <laughs> one. There you go. Is that, uh, um, oh, does it mean it? Sam? Yeah, yeah Sam. just the, the gift that uh, Darren Peckett, at Peckett, Darren's put up is brilliant. It's just how exactly how I celebrated the win at the end. Just like, come on. Just love it. I love yeah. that. that one. Uh, okay. And the Lad to Leeds breakfast podcast have chipped in as well. Last minute, uh, we put the curse in the bin. We certainly did. Seriously, though, Calvin, Melier, Bam Bam, Stood up tonight with the likes of Ailing Raff and the Dalon Door, all key to the win. A well deserved three points. Get in there. Okay, so magic moment then? Um, I'm going to just say our second goal. Um, I loved it when Phillips won that ball back. Um, I just loved, we looked really up for it today in midfield, how aggressive we were. Mm. Um, and just to win that back, I thought it was brilliant. And then, like we touched on before, the the pass from Bamford into Rafinha and Rafinha still had a lot to do because he, had, he was sort of sandwiched in between two big centre-backs and he still managed to get between them and score. And I think just brilliant, wasn't it? And on the counter-attack as well. So it really took the pressure off us. So yeah, that was mine. Yep. You and Magic Moment? Scott Parker's fucking Bladigan. What the fuck is that all about? <laughs> he's got a Bladigan, he a like GA. A over a he's, got 84, he's got 84 tops on. What the fuck? Right. No, just wear one yeah. or two. No, I'm only joking. Cold, it's cold down got, here, mate. It's cold down here. I can't lie. You'll get yourself up. You'll fly. I'll show you. Um, <laughs> my magic moment, my golden moment was the first goal. Because I thought the first goal is the most important tonight. And mm, the throw in, yeah. the cross from Harrison and the finish from, you know, football's a simple game. And I thought it was a really simple goal that made a massive difference to the, the outcome of the game. So that's mine. Yeah, a good cross. Great from yeah, I remember Bamford. there was a two good for England. Fucking yeah, Alioski throw in. Yeah, great throw in. Great cross yeah, from Harrison. Great finish from Bamford, mm-hmm. who's far too good for England. Go play for Republic of Ireland, that kid. <laughs> it's too good. <laughs> I'm, 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 to be honest, although although I do think he deserves it, and we're, we are all a bit pissed off that he didn't get the call up. I'm glad. Mm-hmm. I'm glad he's not going to go go get injured playing fucking San Marino or Albania. So my magic moment would have been Ailing and his beautiful header Absolutely. because that is how you head a ball. What a fucking header that was. Them oh, headers. my God. To see, like, we've seen so many kind of average headers <clears throat> or just crosses that you're never going to be able to direct. You know, this was a beautiful, beautiful cross from Roberts. Got to give him that. And it, and, and it was floated. Aileen had a lot of time to see it, running onto it, and he just fucking placed it on the other side of the goal. And it was just so beautiful. It was such a great moment. And then he takes his hair out, and it's waving around like an Amazonian uh, princess. <laughs> and then he's the knee slide with the, the electric guitar. <sighs> that would have been the magic moment. Sadly, it... <clears throat> Wasn't to be, um, and then the the so then the other magic moment would have been that slide rule pass from from Bamford, and then um, just that cheeky little roll over with the foot, and the, it was almost like a toe yeah, poke finish it. from <laughs> yeah, was... Rafinha um, sliding at the at the near post. I thought that that was just such a good move, and I just love Bielsa ball. I love Leeds when they when they play mm. quick passes like that. Um, it was. It's just like you said, you and it's poetry to watch. Yeah. Um, but my actual magic Oof, moment, teasing us, <laughs> was when Coot finally put his fucking whistle in his mouth and blew his five minutes of <laughs> <laughs> extra time out, and it was over and done. And one thousand one hundred ninety-five days are over, and we could just fucking party. Yeah, yeah, man, hundred percent, definitely, definitely. <sighs> Brings us nicely on to Man of the Match. I'm going to go first before Sam nicks all my all the good ideas. He yeah. does, it, does it all the time when I'm on with I'm really glad to see Sam back this week, by the way. I love you, Sam. Oh, I love you too, mate. We get on really well and yeah, we, yeah. It, bounces, it bounces when we do it, but you always nick me shit, so... <laughs> 
I love him, mate. But Look how many nerves always... he's got. He's literally gone. I, I've tapped you on's house and I've nicked. I've, I've heard what he said throughout. The, I've heard what he said throughout the game. <laughs> well, you've re- had the vaccine now, you. Haven't <laughs> no, you? Yeah. You're a fucking microchip in your brain. Oh, he doesn't even have to it. tap my house anymore. He can just go into the ether and. <laughs> Download all my thoughts from the microchip, <laughs> Bill Gates and all that. <laughs> uh, one of the yes. match. Right, you know what? Oh, God, I can't give it. Phillips is going to do it every week. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? Mel, yeah. And I'll, yeah. T- I'll tell you for why. Yeah. Amazing saves. Composed when he needed to be. Came out and took stuff when he needed to do it. Distribution was better. And I just think he gives everybody in front of him. I, I, I think it's chicken bef- uh, chicken and egg. Have Lorente and Stroop been in front of him, giving him more confidence to, be, to, to, to lead that position? Or has he given them confidence because he's just become stronger and stronger? I don't care. I thought he was brilliant tonight, so I'm going to give it Mel- uh, Melier. Okay, like Sam? It's quite simply just the Yorkshire Polo for me. I thought he was another dominant display. Um, and when he plays well, we play well. Um, he, Like I mentioned before, he won his battle with Anguisa, which I think is a key battle to win. And if he hadn't won that, we would have got over in midfield. And it's a different game completely because they've got some good midfielders. Um, and he was vital to us winning today. Um, and yeah, he just pops up all over the pitch, strong, um, doesn't mess about. Got a little booking at the end as well, but it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, it's Phillips, and he's just a phenomenal, phenomenal player, and I love him. I know we've already done the ref bit, but can I just say that booking was bullshit? <laughs> yeah, <it> was, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> just held on to it for like two seconds, didn't he? You can't he's leave it alone. He's doing that all game. Yeah. You can't leave it alone. He fucking hates Coot. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. He can't. He can't ref. Just fuck off. Yeah. Um, okay. So you and picked you and picked Melia. Sam picked KP. Um, uh, there were so many good performances. Um, I thought um, Strauch and Lorente, I know that they fucked up a lot, but I thought that they also played really well, especially in that first 35 minutes. They haven't played too many times together, but still they looked very impressive, especially Strauch when you consider how young he is. Um, Dallas marshaled that midfield. Unbelievable. Um, Harrison, I thought, looked always a threat, if not always providing that threat. Mm-hmm. But that cross for the first goal, as Ewan said, the first goal was so important today and almost always is. For us, it was telling in the first seasons in the championship. It's been the same in the Premier League as well. Um, Rafinha is always brilliant and we're taking for granted. He's another player like Perlo and Melier who could get man of the match every game just about but I am going for Patrick Bamford because he's playing with an injury he'd just been fucking stood up by Southgate they had a a preordained appointment over the next couple of weeks and uh, Southgate has done him dirty and he's come out today with an injury he's got an assist a goal and an assist He's, he's played brilliantly he did what he needed to do in that role he didn't always press like he normally does but it didn't matter because that's not always what we require from a striker what we require is in those moments when they get the opportunity that they play that slide rule pass to Rafinha or they smash the ball into the near post like he did for that first goal fucking well done Paddy well done you've had so much stick for the last few years and you're answering your critics 65% fit goal assist simple as I think that's a good thing he's added to his, his game now his assists and he's got quite a few now hasn't he um, mm. and yeah brilliant to see that you know goals and assists um, yeah complete and his striker, interview, isn't and, he? His, and his interview at the end he's yeah, a beautiful yeah, man yeah, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a lovely bloke yeah. very yeah. human per, he's very human and down yeah. to earth so you know that endears you to him and that immediately makes it easier to like him and forgive his you know it, when he doesn't have a great game, it makes it easier to forgive him because you know he's a good guy who's trying his best. And um, yeah, you know, I have not always been like anybody. You know, you you can criticise him all you want, but what a, what a great bloke! And he's proven his worth this year. Yep. Simple as. He has. He's proven a lot of uh, critics wrong, and I thought he deserved the criticism. 
Um, and I think he absolutely deserves the praise. Everything that he's, everything that he's getting. Okay, are there any stats? Um, so full time, uh, Leeds have avoided defeat in all eight matches in which we've held a minority share of possession. There you go. So we had forty nine percent possession. Wow. Didn't seem like um, that. It didn't, did it? Um, we really dominated in that, that first thirty five minutes, and I think that's where we got a kind of false impression mm. of the game. We were cruising. We'd, I mean, we'd scored two goals basically. Yeah. Um, if you count Ailings, and and they were getting nowhere near us. Then corners happened. <laughs> yep, and then we let them back into it, just like we did in the reverse fixture yeah, as well, yeah. when we were four one up. And every week, my view on stats gets reinforced that there are a load of bollocks. And <laughs> right, fucking yeah. stick them up your ass. Uh, what was the score? Okay. It was two one. I don't care yeah. on possession. I don't care on corners. I don't care xG. Fuck all. Right. <laughs> Fuck them. Sorry, stats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry, stats. Wherever you are, um, we will see him again on the main cast. Um, okay, so leads uh, full and one leads two. We broke the hoodoo. Let's have some final thoughts, gents. Go on, Sam. You go first this time, mate. Oh, I'm just so happy with that to go into an international break and you know relax. Know that we're here next season again. You know, can really think about next season. Um, and yeah, just just to win in London is brilliant, and so many key performances and battles today. I mean, we didn't even mention that Mitrovic came on and didn't even get a sniff all game, and Lorente was marking him and did really fucking well. And another, again, yeah. you know, he's not he's not a good player, he an easy player to play against is Mitrovic. So credit to the team, they put in a hell of a shift, and they look knackered at the end. Um, full yeah. of fighting for their lives, and yeah, it was a really well tense game towards the end, but. Couldn't care less. Sam celebrating tonight, um, and hope everyone else enjoys it as well. Because we're here for another season, baby. Get in there, Come Sam. Come on. <laughs> yes, Sam. <lad. laughs> Come on, Sam. Get in there. You and I wish I had as many love bites as Mitrovic. Um... <laughs> Because he's fucking. Hell, he's been doing well, that lad, for an ugly big fucker from Serbia, hasn't he? <laughs> um, same. You know what? I'm so, so, tonight felt like I'm so relieved because whatever wins we've had before, it's never felt like we've truly got there. Tonight, I feel like that's it. We're up, we're staying up. Um, yeah. And that's my final thought is tonight's the result that's got us staying in the Premier League for next year when we get fans in the stadium. It's going to be mental. We're going to love it again. We're going to have all them days out again where we can go to the boozer, have a breakfast at, 11 o'clock in a pub and then start and get to Ellen Road and enjoy all those times together as, as a proper fan base. And I drink think responsibly drink, drink irresponsibly <laughs> as always. Uh, <laughs> you know what? It, it, it's, it's a, it's a beautiful thing, you know, and, and to have everybody back in that stadium, I think he's going to propel us on. You know, there's going to be games where we might not have got a result this year, where with a crowd in there, we are, so tonight, my final thought is that's the result I feel that's got us over the line. I don't think anybody in the bottom three is going to get 38 points, to be honest. Um, so I think that's the result that's done it for us. I'm so proud of the boys. And they did grind it out at times, but they were the better team, uh, re regardless of possession stats. And I'm fucking buzzing. And I'm like Sam. <laughs> ching, ching. Centani, on, you, you know, celebrate, boys, because that's the one, man. And we've got Sheffield yeah. United next week, uh, well, after the international break, and get a result there, which I hope we do. And, and Yeah, we, we've got all the confidence to go into them and beat them and just reinforce our position and go against them big teams and really have a proper go, not yeah. no fear. Yeah. Let, Hopefully we more players back as well. Yeah, let's fucking have it. We've got, we've got a bit of cock in the team. It's, you know, who, who doesn't like a bit of cock? I know, yeah. Let's let's <laughs> let's have it, Leeds. Let's fucking do it, Leeds. Come on! No, 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 no. The Leeds are staying up, staying up. Leeds are staying up. No, 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 no. Leeds are staying up, staying up, staying up. Thumbs up, and we're staying up. Thumbs up. <laughs> cock, cock will tear you in half again. <laughs> Oh man, that, that, that should be sung 100%. <laughs> uh, 
And we're staying up, cocks up. And, and we're staying, staying up, up all night. Up. And we're staying up, cocks up. And we're staying up. Viagra. Oh. And we're staying up. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. What a feeling. And I'm dancing on, on the ceiling. ceiling. Fucking hell. Well, I don't think I can put it any better than what Ewan's already said. I mean, a win in London on a Friday night. You know, when you win on Friday, you go into the weekend just fucking cruising. Um, it's not just the weekend, though. We're cruising in to the international break so we can keep those positive vibes just cranked to max. Oh, yes. Oh, we yeah. 39 points. That's it, baby. That's it. That's it. Done. Nine games to go. Was it? Eight games to go. We've done it anyway. Yeah. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> what a season. And nearly a hundred pods. Wow! So, yeah, yeah. Let's Can talk about the, you know the Roaring Peacocks. It's all about Leeds United, but we're a baby, really. Aren't we? We've started this year and or this season, and what an amazing achievement we've made. I mean, what's the stats, Donny? Stats? Jesus, um, no, no idea off the top of my head. <laughs> Sorry, I, <put> you. <laughs> I just had a feeling you know that shit. <laughs> it's I've stopped checking it. Uh, it's it's something like something like seventy five thousand or eighty thousand uh, wow. views and listens. So, well done. <clears throat> yeah, to say that we uh, we didn't at the start um, beforehand, we had no idea what we were doing, and during, uh, absolutely no idea what we we're doing, and and now we still just absolutely just not a clue. Playing, yeah, <laughs> not a fucking clue. We got nearly <laughs> nearly a thousand subscribers on YouTube. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Is we that... flagged us way. I mean, I've got this mic, but I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with it. Like, <laughs> just set it up right. there to look like I'm doing something important. But... I know Sam, Sam Ward looks like Drake. You know, it could all go wrong tomorrow, but if nothing else, Sam Ward looks like Drake. I've got my Bobby Brown shit. I'm going to start doing forward roles and looking like Madonna doing Vogue in a minute. Ooh, I don't yeah. give a right. shit. Right. Yeah, like we that. could. That's what we could do to get free shirts. Yeah. We could uh, pretend to be celebrities because yeah. that's the way to do it, yeah. isn't it? Done. Has Drake got a free shirt yet? <laughs> I'll send him one, mate. <laughs> Me and him go way back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's from, uh, he's from uh, what's it, North Allerton, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, Leo, yeah, then. Anything left to add? I don't think so. And if you want to get in touch uh, and uh, get involved, uh, then you can do that at Peacock's Raw on Twitter or The Roaring Peacock on Facebook, another underutilised uh, social media. Facebook? Fuck, I didn't realise you're having that. <laughs> No way! Yeah, I don't do anything on it. Um, yeah, the kids. goes back to the thing about not knowing what we're doing. Okay, so if you, <laughs> uh, thank you very much for listening. Hope you enjoyed that one. So uh, my name's Adonis, and you know me as at the other lights on Twitter. It's a very good bye from me getting leads and uh, at Sam Ward LUFC on Twitter was Sam. Good night, everyone. Enjoy this. Enjoy your weekend. God bless. Stay safe. Machiavelli, uh, Prince of uh, Trickery. <laughs> Buenas, and... bu- buonasera a tutti. Uh, ci vediamo a presto. Si, si, si. A very warm hello and goodbye to our Italians. <laughs> 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 so smooth. Love it. I can't help it. Kind of that's me in it. Middle name. <laughs> right. And we will see you very soon with another main cast, another youth pod, and uh, some more match previews and match reviews. Thank you and good night. Come, Come on, on, Leeds. Come on, Leeds. Staying up, staying up. Leeds are staying up. The Leeds are staying up, staying up. Leeds are staying up. Most of our stats come from LUFC Stats or LUFC Data on Twitter. A very special thanks to Barney Stewart, Clifford Ewan and Howard Metcalf, Josh Pearson, Laura, Leon and Rob, The Light Show and all our family and friends. So many games to play, don't care what's on your mind.